our next concept will be small and big so we are going to find out the small and big just by looking at two things we will be able to understand which is small and which is big so for example I have the duster in my left and I have the whiteboard marker on my right so when we compare these two we could say which is smaller which is bigger just by looking at it I can say that the marker pen is smaller than the duster or the duster is bigger when compared to the whiteboard marker so now we have a small activity and in these pictures we are going to see which is the smaller and which is the bigger so in my first chart I have the picture of a goat and a horse so then I have to write which is small and which is big so when you compare the goat to the horse it is small so the goat is small and the horse is big the next two pictures I have the picture of a parrot and a peacock so when we compare both these birds we say that the parrot is smaller or small and the peacock is big in the next picture we have the picture of a cat and an elephant so just by looking at these two animals we could easily say which is big and which is small so in this the cat is small or smaller and the elephant is big or huge then we have the cow and its calf so we can say that the mother cow is big and the calf is small the picture of a calf it is small so this is the concept of small and big as we've already learned the numbers the smaller number and the bigger number we have pictures of animals the next we will move on to tall and short so when I take these two I take a picture I take a scissors and I take a whiteboard marker and I place it I know which is taller the scissors is taller when compared to the whiteboard marker so now we have pictures I have the picture of a boy and the picture of a squirrel so we say that the boy is taller and the squirrel is shorter next we have the picture of a huge dog and the picture of a man so we say that the dog is taller when compared to the man the man is shorter then we have the picture of a crane and the picture of a duck so by looking at the picture we can see that the crane is taller and the duck is shorter so I hope you have understood the concept of big and small and tall and short so just by looking at objects we will be able to understand and check which is tall and which is big or small